Mark, obviously a bit of a break since our last game. Torquay at home tomorrow. What's your thoughts ahead of the game? Yeah, another tough challenge awaits. Um, Torquay obviously had a fantastic season last season, but I uh, just missed out agonisingly at the end. You know that any team that Gary Johnson sends out, it's going to be a real tough test. So, yeah, we've um, got to be right at it. We've tried to utilise the, the weekend off the best we can, rest up a few bodies, get more training time, and, uh, you know, hopefully put our best foot forward tomorrow. What was the focus? Obviously, a bit of a break since our last game, but that extended training period, what was the focus during that time? Well, as it always is, you know, training time is so important to us just to refine things, keep working hard on different things, but also try and get some of those injured bodies back as well. We've had uh, quite an extensive injury list at the moment, and um, like I said, the, the fixture list is out of our control. We can just react to it in the most positive way we can, and that's, that's what we did. Obviously, like you said, an extended injury list, but obviously the players who did come in and played on Saturday obviously gives you a bit of a headache going into this game. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we were really pleased with our performance on uh, the previous Saturday. Um, you know, we showed a lot of fight and character, and those things we've got to be first on our sheet no matter what, and they're things we've got to um, you know, reenact to make sure we, sh we show that. Um, and then we also got to continue to refine our other parts and continue to look to get better. Because of course, obviously, a lot was made about Saturday against Grimsby, Remembrance Day, a big win for us, obviously, with an army town. But it's important we don't just keep talking about that. You move on and hope we get a run going. No, that's done now. You know, there's no no talk about that. That's all that's shown is that we've got potential in certain areas, but we've got to keep realising that potential. Make sure it's not a flash in the pan. We're now looking for the character and the drive to keep wanting to, um, you know, get those performances out on the pitch. And of course, another game back at home for us against Torquay as well. It's important you get a home record going that you know can hopefully push you up the table. Yeah, we've got to, you know make sure that our our home form we pick up as many points as we can, make it a difficult place to come, and that's certainly what we're going to be looking to do. Um, like I said, we've got to show the energy in the fight on the pitch, and you can see how our crowd will respond if they see that. And obviously, looking at Torquay, a lot's changed since last season. A few players have come, a few players have gone as well. So it'll be an interesting game for us on Tuesday. Yeah, look, it's always, it's always going to be a tough game. So it's probably playing against the most experienced manager in the, in, in the league, uh, you know, with a real uh, rich CV, plenty of successes. So, you know, it's going to be a really tough game. There's, there's no doubt about it. But, you know, we showed that we were tough on Saturday, the previous game. Um, you know, we've got to constantly keep looking to improve, keep looking to refine and, um, and get better and give ourselves the best possible chance to get those three points. And of course, some of the academy lads that came in impressed. Obviously, Alfie Saunders on his debut as well. They'll be looking to hopefully fight for another starting eleven place on Tuesday as well. Yeah, again, it's a great experience for them, and and as all, all the team, all the squad, we're learning all the time. We're, we're gaining more experience. Yeah, look, it's, we've got a lot of experienced players missing at the moment, but if we can pick points up um, and then start to get those players back. You know, we're starting to build something here now um, with, with the so-called younger players learning on their feet quickly, experienced players back to come, then hopefully that would be a nice analogy for me. Of course, on a slightly different note as well, obviously last Thursday was our FA Youth Cup game, you and Terry were in attendance, a disappointing result on the night, but a lot of positive to take from the young lads. Yeah, a huge positive, they've done really well to get that far, they probably had one of the toughest ties in the, in the hat, and uh, you know, it switched, went to the semi-final in that competition, had some international players, and I think they really stood up to the challenge really well, and uh, you know, done the club proud and themselves and they, they, they've been enriched by the experience as well and um, you can see what a good conveyor belt it's been, how many players we're using, how many players are in and around training with us so we're definitely looking to you know, continue to make that real strong link and a, and a, and a good pathway into our first team. Are you in with the shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.